Hello, we're going to talk just a minute about teaching kids rules. I found the following website which talks about teaching kids respect, which I think is very, very important. It uh, helps children master the transition between taking adults and letting them be authorities and other children being their peers to understand how to meld the two together in order to establish a meaningful set of rules. I think you will enjoy this website. Five rules for teaching your kids respect. Uh, first rule is listen with respect. Now, I want you to notice that they're not uh, just talking about the children. They're talking about the adults as well. It says you and your children must listen without interrupting. Have you ever noticed how hard that is to do with children, but we want them to listen to us without interrupting? A second rule is speak with respect. They, they have to avoid hogging the spotlight too, and parents have to do the same thing. We teach our children to listen with respect by listening to them with respect. We teach them to speak with respect by speaking to them with respect and teaching them not to hog the time, but to listen, to be brief, and to state their points. The third rule is to discuss issues respectfully. Um, consider that as a parent just a minute as you deal with your children. Don't you want them to be respectful in, in discussing your issues? Well, you need to be respectful in discussing for theirs. And this voting for the best solutions, uh, children are, are, are people too. Uh, children have a lot of uh, fallout from decisions that are made, and by helping them be involved in finding the best solution, you really are supporting their autonomy. And uh, make commitments. Uh, each member shares a specific uh, promise. Uh, now, this, of course, was talking about, uh, about bullying, but I think that the, the rules are important. Listen with respect, speak with respect, discuss issues respectfully, vote for the best solution, and make commitments. I, I used to enjoy very much uh, teaching children in this age. Uh, in a life long ago, I taught 7th and 8th graders, and I really enjoyed the 7th graders. But I noticed that as I dealt with them with discipline, that if I came in and let them help establish the rules that we had for our class, then they felt like they were the rules were theirs and they were more likely to follow them. I also used to do some things when I had a student that I was just having a lot of trouble with. I would get them where I really had them caught. You know, you know what I mean. That's when you've got them by the jugular vein and they know that they can't get loose. And then you give them an honorable way out. Uh, I used to do it by having a behavior contract that we would sign they agreed to three things, and I agreed to four things. We had a commitment. They were involved in the decision-making. All of this is designed to develop autonomy on the part of a child. As the child goes through the concrete operational stage and begins to socialize, the child experiences the phenomena of cooperation. And in my opinion, perhaps the greatest level of cooperation is to learn even to cooperate not just with their peers but with adults as well and if you want children to cooperate with adults then adults have to understand that they need to cooperate with children now the opinions that have been expressed here are simply my own uh, i take the full consequences of them but i really really think that we would be very wise to listen to some of the teachings of Piaget about how kids develop in this stage so that we can model for them autonomy, will, and the development of rules with which they can cooperate and be part of. Hope you enjoyed this lecture.